Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of November. I almost just said October, but November 16th. Uh, this week, people want me to start saying what deck I'm using. So uh, this week I'm using Arcana, and it's a really cool deck by Dead on Paper. And uh, it has four of the major Arcana cards in it from the tarot. Uh, so it's a really cool deck. I, I've just started messing around with it. It's cool. Um, so that is the new deck, and I'll probably be using it a lot because I really, really like the deck. And there you go, that's my reasoning for using it. But this week, you have a really, really nice mix of kind of everything, which is, you know, nice. Uh, you have the Seven of Hearts coming up first, which is a card of feeling. It's still an okay card. There's really nothing wrong with it, but it is a card sometimes of feeling like a lack of love. But it's a very easy card to overcome. As I say, so if you're feeling a lack of love, even if you're in a relationship, I always say that you are the one that's actually missing from the card. So all you have to do is communicate. That's the solution to the card is communication. Uh, and if you're single and you want love this week or you're, you're trying to meet somebody, it really does ask you to try everything you possibly can uh, to find to you know to meet somebody. That's what the card says. Uh, so you know, go out, try online dating. It you it really rewards doing every single thing and by everything I mean everything uh, if you are in a relationship and you're not feeling any you know much love coming from your partner again it he your partner I just said he but he or she is uh, right here you're the one that's missing um, so you know just communicate with your partner and say hey I need attention or whatever and guess what they're there so like I said they'll be more than happy to do whatever they have to do um, to provide you with that attention so like I said it's a very easy easy card to overcome extremely easy so it shouldn't even be an issue. Next, you have the Two of Clubs, which is a great card. It is a, it's a card of facing your fears for sure, but it's a card that says if you can face your fears, you will become extremely successful. A lot of the people who are born under this card, if you look at a lot of famous people who have this as their birth card, uh, they experienced a great deal of challenges before they became uh, successful and it wasn't and they all have like these stories where they all had to really like face some major fear and and once they did that they became even more successful they actually became famous or, or whatever the case may be so this card asks you to do that it also asks you to focus like a little bit more on yourself this week it, it you know it, it's kind of a I don't want to say it's a greedy card because that's not the right word I mean it's a card that really asks you to really take some time for yourself to, to be even by yourself to take some alone time whatever you need to do uh, with this card so you know definitely if, if you feel like you need alone time if you feel like you need to get away or whatever just by yourself at certain points during the week definitely do it because this is a card of definitely like focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, doing things that you need to do for yourself. Uh, next, you have the Six of Diamonds. Great card, all about planting seeds, uh, and even though it is a diamonds card, which is usually, um, you know, money related, it, Six of Diamonds can be, it can really be anything in your life. It's kind of like, I think uh, traditionally, I believe traditional readers would call, they call this card like sowing and reaping or something along those lines. So the, the week will kind of have that energy of anywhere you place your energy is, is what you'll reap, you know, the rewards you'll get. So again, that goes for everything. Love, and like I said at the beginning of the reading, if you're feeling a lack of love, you put work into it, you'll reap the rewards. Same thing goes with money. Um, when cards like this come up, I always tell people, even if you do something extra this week to make extra money, if you're looking for extra money, like you know, try to list something on Craigslist and sell it, or try to have a tag sale. I know it's November now, so I don't know how many people are really going to be having tag sales unless you live somewhere warm. But this card, it kind of opens up energy for a lot of that stuff. So if you're looking for extra money, like I said, do something about it, uh, especially with a card like this. And finally, you have the Two of Hearts, which is a really great card as well. It, it, so you could meet that special person this week if you put the work in. Again, the beginning of the reading really tells you that you do have to put the work in this week. It's not just going to come to you, you know, extremely easily. You're in. You're, you're going to have to work for it. But you know, like I say, uh, you know, or they say, a lot of people say this, is, you know, easy come, easy go. So a lot of people just want things to show up in their life, but when things happen that easily, you know, they can be taken away just as easily. When things are a little bit harder for you to achieve, you know, they typically stay around for a long time. So I just got that message, it popped into my head, and I said it. Uh, but two of hearts, really great love card. So if you are in a relationship, it does look like you will communicate, open up communications, and things will be really great for you. If you're not in a relationship, you could meet somebody very special this week. So thank you for watching, Aries. Enjoy the week.